today was a bad day for Drew Ray and for Johnny Mom. They going down to follow I five fifty five down to East St. Louis and they tried to pull it back right there. But uh in this black part of town. Now Sugar Ray is black, but uh Johnny Mo is not. So Johnny Mo's out there six out like a pig. Uh, we're in the circus, and, but nonetheless, it doesn't matter because Sugar Ray goes on the bank. But he gives a note to this woman, beautiful woman, he says. She yells, she smiles, and she opens up the uh, drawer, pulls out this huge 38. Coins it at him, and shoots. Brush the cap on, right, the, right behind the ear. Hits the chandelier. The glass comes down all over the place. Rick takes a cool smile, gets on out of there. While he's leaving, he sees a couple of people with uh, uh, chains on their hands. And he, he points the chain, with, points his gun, chain, off the chain comes into his pocket. He sees a young boy scout uh, selling Krispy Kreme donuts. There's a couple of, uh, of crates of those things, and he grabs those too. I mean, I'd say, you know, I'd say all in all, when you think of it like that, that's keeping that's a cool customer. When Sugar Ray got out there, you know, there's trouble. Double trouble. Man, first woman comes out with her gun. Again, she takes a shot at us. Damn it, she don't hit all the donuts. All the donuts get busted from here to hell and back. So we got chandelier glass, and Ray's got that in his ears and hair. I got it on me, and she's got it on him. And the donuts are flying all over the car. Then we hear another shot, but that turns out to be a, uh, some kind of a, I don't know, some car thing or something. I guess we could call it a interference from the car or something. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is it was a rough day today. And I'll tell you, for this old Johnny Miller, and Sir Ray, you know, good God, man. Hey, Sir Ray, how you doing in there, anyways? How you feeling? Uh, oh, my God, in there. Rough day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to stop. Get another rig. Ray is fast with that. Just took two minutes. That didn't take long at all, did it, Ray? Get that. What do you say? I can't hear you out the water running. I said it didn't take long to get that other other rig, did it? Yeah, but it didn't work. Damn, we gotta get another one tomorrow. You hear the rings is burning up. I smell the stuff. Smell the oil burning. I got the taste of it in my mouth. Sugar Ray, that won't be no problem for you. You'll catch that in a heartbeat. Yeah, I ain't gonna go with more. I think you sleep in. And then we got some business to make up on the day. I'm gonna chase that woman down that took that shot at me. No, no, you're not. You were gonna, we were leaving and getting out of here. In fact, we already did leave and got out of there. Now we're gonna leave and get out of here. You aren't gonna go out and touch. You gotta be out of your mind. Well, she's a cutie, all right. And I'll tell you what. She used to take shots at me with 38. Well, I got something to talk to her about. What you, what you gonna say to her, Sugar Ray? Take another shot at me? I wanna go out on a date? Can I take you to the circus? Oh, hey, what, what you got to say to her? I figured out. You do your thing, mind your business, play that old easy harmonica you play, and I'll do my thing with the women. Remember, remember, I was lots younger than you. Right, you got him more. Right? I got time to make up, and you got time to think about what you did. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not giving up anything to you, Sugar Ray. It's true, it's true. The time has, has eaten in my frayed nerves and everything like that, such. But you know, I'm not completely out of action yet. You don't know what's going to happen to me. I might make a family. Uh huh. Family? That's cool. Good for you. Well, just the same. How you like this? <laughs> Remember that sugar ray, you might go with your early grace. <laughs> but you better hope not. You better hope not, you lousy old son of a bitch. Johnny, man, what are you talking about going to early grace? We eat this together, ain't we? Yeah, that, that that is a bad line. I, I admit that, okay? Let's start over again, okay? <laughs> Well, I just wonder 
world on your mind. Tap your three bags on my mind, Johnny Moore. What about you? Yeah, we sure messed it up yesterday. 33. That's the magic number. You see, as I've spoken about before in these little metal things that I'm making for also posterity and maybe to get a Hollywood deal from it, um, and we play them like a game of blackjack. Every 21, we got 21, 21, and now we're up to 11 plus 42, means 53. But we messed that one up. We didn't have any problems, see? We, we, we had no problems with the middle of us. We banged off 10 in a row pretty fast. Ain't that right, to the rail? Banged off 10 bags in a row pretty fast up there in the middle of us? Yeah, 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 it's pretty fast. Well, the thing is, then we drifted down the river, you know, at 55. No, right at 55. I'm a little confused, that road is. Well, anyway, we went down the interstate. I just I saw it yesterday on the side. My mind is coming to a stalwart stop. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make here, Sugar Ray, you went down the interstate, and that's all you have to say, you stupid machine of yours. Just don't let it go. Just don't get all uptight about it. Hey, hey, you're calling me your own name, Sugar Ray. you the one losing your mind. Yeah. And you about bound to make me lose it, too. Listen, listen, Johnny Moon. Just chill out. Have yourself a little whiskey. Come on down. Watch a rerun of something on TV. Or maybe a late night creep show. I'm going to go get something. I'm going to go get me a little dinner over there at the cafe. All right? No. I'm pretty hungry. I have to pick it on the jelly and glazed donuts out of my hair. I got going to eat something now. Well, would you mind picking me up something, too? Sure, what you want? Same old, same old grilled cheese sandwich with tomatoes and grilled onions. Sure, sure, sure. And chocolate milkshake and onion rings, okay? Yeah, yeah, no problem at all here. You know? we can spare the money after our bus today? Oh, we'll pull something through, sugar. All right, now, listen. I'm going to be gone here, and uh, if you know the code, you, you hear nothing but me doing my thing, you know, you just lay low and let me take care of things. I got you covered, old Sugar Ray, I got your number, okay? All right, thanks, Sugar Ray, I'll catch up in a little while. Okay. Well, he's gone, he's going to get himself some need, hope he remembers to bring me back a sandwich. Oh, it's nice working with a young guy like that, I, I tell you. Being old can get lonely, you know? But when you're working with somebody who's like 30, 40 years younger than you, you know, they're kind of watching out for you and stuff. And, and then at the same time, you're, you're passing your knowledge of what you've learned, how, you know, about banks and how to rob them the right way and what angles to look at from the inside and the outside, how many tellers there are, how many cameras, you know, how many security people there are, you know, where's the office manager located, what's the timing on the, on the uh, how much time does it take to open up the, the, the time safe. Anyway, you've got a lot to consider, you know, who's, what kind of parking there is in front, the sides, the back, you know, uh, where's the, how far away is the, is the, the sub top station from there. Yeah, you got plenty to think about. I mean, Robin Banks is not like going in, the, you know, in the old days, it used to be like going in with the gun and bam, 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 thank you, man, but it's gotten a lot more, uh, a little more, you know, you got to have guts for sure, you got to have that, that, you know, flamboyance, you know, the French call it. But, you know, you still got to be, be smart about it. You can't be a fool unless you're going to want to do in time like my old friend Johnny Mac did. You know, eight years of charity. Oh, man, the Mac and any bank robbers. The Mac and any bank robbers in the 80s. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm glad I was out of the country with my old black pal, Harold Burnside, playing music instead of sitting in stir with Danny Mac and his band. No matter how much fun it may have been to play with Danny Mac, and it was fun. I sure enough like doing it on the outside instead of the inside of the joint. However, it is a very sad deal that in this day and age, the federal government should not come up with enough money to provide inmates to put together bands and artistic programs, which will help them with their either rehabilitation or at least help them pass the time go by where they don't shield each other or punch each other's lights out. So when they want to go back to their world or whatever they left, you know, well, at least, you know, they they not hurt anybody because they're putting their energy into some kind of creative thing. But the federal government don't think that's in advance because how can they? They're just plain stupid. Anyway, well, 
Yeah, I, I guess I'm getting kind of tired now, but Miss Harmonica, I think I told you all I got this thing. You know, I got this thing at a pawn shop, and it's another harmonica I got, but let's see what it sounds like. It's a D harmonica, and I, I really like it. I just kind of like the tone on these things. And there's, there's so much, I found out, there's so much less expensive than those Marine Bands. But, there will never be another Marine Band. Now, it just depends. Some of these harmonicas, they're kind of harder to play on the bottom end, like those A. Some are easier to play, like the D, they have a little brighter sound than a D or a Marine Band. But I, I like this. I like this harmonica. I guess I shouldn't be knocking the hell out of it. I'm wearing some little dive, you know. I'm just kidding. It's me doing this. I don't want to be out of the neighbors. So. <laughs> anyway, I best not keep doing this. So it's getting late at night, so. <laughs> The problem is that Sugary and I were starting to get behind that old brown monster, you know? And I'll tell you the truth, there ain't nothing that makes me happier in this life than heroin and cocaine. I tell you the truth, you know, I'm just being straight up and real. I don't think that I don't think God created anything sweeter. He created angels and eels and frogs and toads and salamanders and snakes, but he ain't never treated he's never created anything sweeter than heroin and cocaine. The opium, the poppy plant, and the, and the uh, cocoa plant. I mean, together, they are, oh, God in heaven. No wonder people die, kill, shoot each other for that stuff. No wonder relationships break up over that every day of the week. No wonder people run themselves into the ground doing that. Because you taste it once or twice or three times, 
Lord have mercy. Just this morning. And now Sugar Ray and I are starting to get a hold of it. And we got to watch it. Because if we keep into that thing, we're never going to complete our our mission. Which is actually, the mission is 7, it's 105, let's say 105, 42 is 4, it's, it's 21 times twice. And 84 is 21 times 4 times. That's right, Sugar Ray's got, I'm not the smartest person in math, but Sugar Ray, he, he's better than me at this, but, uh, but Johnny Moon, I can do it a little bit, okay, so then, that's 84, and now another 20, 44, 42, rather, is another 2, another 2 times 21, plus another one, the point I'm trying to make is that we want to try to get to about 200, and 11 base. We figure that's our next, uh, our budget number. Now, it don't matter how long it takes to get there, but we've got a sort of a set goal for that. On the other hand, we might switch it and do it and figure out something new with 7s and 11s and 10s coming up with the imagined numbers. But we'll figure out that later on. Right now, we just got to nail our 53rd. All right. Have a nice guy. Have a nice evening, y'all. And women and guys, if you ever hear this, that is, I'm, like I said, I'm taping this for posterity and hoping that maybe Hollywood producer will give me a, some kind of a deal on this, a film or some specific that I can retire on. I, I'm hoping, anyway, speaking of that, see, hey. Oh, that's just Ray. Ray, yep. All right, y'all. Have a good morning. Even that day, wherever you're at, if you ever hear this, and ever, we, 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 hey, if we ever meet each other, we can each buy each other dinner, okay? Bye-bye, y'all.